Heartbreaking scenes there from the Philippines. Well, the country is no stranger, though, to violent weather. And even though there was plenty of warning about this latest weather system, the sheer power of Typhoon Haiyan took everyone, including the experts, by surprise. Our science editor, David Shookman, has been looking at why this storm has been so destructive. It takes a view from the air to see the extraordinary scale of devastation. Ferocious winds combined with massive walls of water to lay waste to whole communities. All this is the result of weather at its most extreme. For many people, there was simply nowhere to hide. The survivors are now left appealing for aid from the outside world. The typhoon had been forecast, but proved completely overwhelming. The thing which made it particularly um, dangerous was the fact that it reached its peak intensity at the point that it made landfall. And on that basis, it might be one of the strongest typhoons to ever make landfall. To understand this disaster, let's use our virtual reality studio to try to piece together how this catastrophic weather unfolded. Now, the people of the Philippines are well used to the threat of typhoons. They've had more than 20 this year alone, but nowhere near the scale of this one. Like all tropical storms, it began with a cluster, loose cluster, of thunderclouds. Nothing unusual. But these quickly merged together to form a single weather system which started rotating, pulling air up into its centre. The storm stretched over 300 miles. By now, it was a typhoon. And the heat, rising from the warm ocean, kept adding to its strength. Higher temperatures mean more energy. This meant that in the eye of the storm and around it, the winds kept accelerating. Intense low pressure also lifted the sea surface to create a storm surge, another source of danger. For anyone in its path, only the strongest shelter would help them survive. Compare the town of Guiyan before the disaster with the same view just after it. Almost every house has had its roof ripped off. Here's Taklaban, seen last year. It met a similar fate, the storm hitting with explosive force. The devastation is staggering. Today, an official from the Philippines was at a UN climate conference. He's from Taklaban and called for action on global warming. We can fix this. We can stop this madness right now right here. An emotional moment. The fact is, though, that no single weather event can be blamed on climate change. But typhoons are fueled by heat in the oceans. The massive size of this one was clearly visible from space. And scientists are warning that storms this vicious may become more likely. David Shookman, BBC News.